How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in this video I'm going to be going over some of my personal strategies for preparing for Christmas sales, Q4 sales. I'm sure you've heard a lot about uh, the potential of this time of year for us as Amazon sellers. So I'm going to be going through some of the things that you can do to prepare your business for insane volume, uh, what kind of products you should be looking into buying, um, and some good general practices. Uh, before we do that, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, I'm going to be helping out your business in this video. If you could help me out and hit that button I would really appreciate it let's go ahead and jump into the video so the first thing I want to talk about is what kind of items are actually good during Christmas time to actually go ahead and sell uh, there's basically anything uh, is going to be selling a little bit faster but there's definitely some categories you can kind of niche down into uh, reasonably you can just kind of ask yourself uh, if I have a friend that I'm buying gifts for what categories am I looking in uh, so it doesn't necessarily just have to be the toys um, and the decorations and the obvious ones, although those are going to be your probably your home run products, the ones that get crazy, crazy volume. Uh, but you can also think about other categories like apparel. Uh, people are going to be giving some shoes to each other, uh, tons of other opportunities outside of those major categories. Uh, but that said, there is a ton of opportunity within those seasonal uh, type products. Definitely toys, definitely Christmas decorations, think inflatables, uh, think lights, uh, anything that ends up being kind of limited supply is always nice. Uh, you're also going to want to think about looking into kind of seasonal or limited edition candy. Um, a lot of people uh, are wanting to buy some of this, you know, Christmas candy or it's like special flavors and stuff, but they don't want to go to the store. Uh, so that's where we can come in. Uh, we can go to the store, get a bunch of it at once and then ship it off to our customers. And one other thing that is going to be uh, a really profitable opportunity, it's been a great opportunity all year. I personally haven't messed with it at all, but selling consoles, you can think uh, PS5s, the new Xboxes, uh, the Switch, uh, the new Switch, not the old Switches, but there's like a OLED uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, any of those limited edition or uh, limited run consoles and stuff, those ones that are all limited in supply because of the supply chain shortages and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but there is a ton of gaps in the market that we can come in and fill as resellers. Um, I've already been buying a ton of product um, this week and that goes into kind of my next point that I want to talk about is when should you be buying inventory? When is too late? Um, I know a lot of people think that uh, it's November already. I'm too late to get Christmas sales. Um, it is uh, getting, it's getting close, right? Uh, but my personal cutoff for sending items to Amazon FBA is going to be probably late November, probably somewhere around the 20th of November. Uh, that's the last time I'll send things to FBA um, and then beyond that I'll be merchant filling almost everything do keep in mind that if you're a new seller, uh, you might not have approval to sell uh, toys merchant fulfilled. You do have to have meet some special qualifications. I've got them right over here. Um, you have to be selling before September 1st. You have to do 25 orders from August 15th to October 14th. Um, what else we have? We have you have to have a pre-fulfillment cancel rate of no higher than 2% or so. Your late shipment rate is no greater than 4% and your order defect rate is no greater than 1%. So if you did really any amount of merchant fulfilling, uh, then you will be uh, pretty, you'll be eligible for this. But if you didn't do 25 orders, that's probably going to be the big one that gets most of you. Uh, between uh, August 15th and October 14th, then you're not going to be eligible to merchant fulfill toys. Uh, so your purchasing decisions are going to be a little bit different. Um, um, you will maybe maybe you'll want to push that FBA date back a little bit maybe catch those uh, week of Christmas sales as well as the post Christmas sales there is a little bit of a second toys rush um, during uh, January 1st that area as uh, you know you have Christmas with second families and that kind of stuff uh, toys are not over uh, by Christmas uh, one thing you do want to keep in mind is obviously those decorations and stuff like that are gonna be completely over with sales by then um, but there is just uh, a bunch of opportunity to be to be had right so you just want to keep in mind um, the the products that you're sending to Amazon FBA uh, they won't be eligible for sale for two three even four weeks maybe uh, depending on how slow your fulfillment center is so definitely keep that in mind when you're making your kind of forecasting decisions for stocking in toys and those limited items for Christmas um, and then actually I've been experimenting with a new kind of business model of sorts lately um, there's a, tons of opportunity to buy products that are currently uh, for sale on Amazon um, and are not uh, or last Christmas they went way up in value 
value. Um, and I'd expect one way to take advantage of the shortages of everything this year is to buy a bunch of these products. I've been going pretty heavy on a lot of this, uh, buying some, some Legos and stuff like that, that right now, let's say it's $25, but last Christmas it got up to $75. Um, so that is an awesome opportunity. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into Keepa real quick, and I will show you exactly what one of those products looks like, uh, so that if you see one out in the wild, you'll be able to stock up uh, and make some money off of it. So I wanted to give you a quick demonstration here. Um, if you come across a Keepa graph that looks like this, uh, this is just a, a regular toy. Uh, Amazon's for sale, right? Typically, you would look at this, not, not really um, worth selling. Maybe you could sell it here, but then you'd have the risk of Amazon coming back. But the real magic comes when you zoom out uh, a year, and you can see last Christmas time, uh, Amazon was also still selling it for $20. Um, and you can even zoom out further. Uh, so in this case, it looks like it didn't sell out the Christmas before last, but sometimes these items will consistently sell out every Christmas. Um, that makes it a great opportunity to kind of capitalize on these shortages. Uh, but in this case, you can see how right now you can buy it for 1980. Uh, last Christmas, it was going for 28. Let's go ahead and turn on the FBA here. So it was selling for $35, and then later, closer as it got to Christmas, it was selling for upwards of $45. Um, so if you'd hopped on here, we can go ahead and run a profit calculation here. Uh, this Chrome extension is free if you don't already have a profit calculator. Uh, but plugging everything in there, uh, you're almost doubling your money if you're capturing these these sales at the top here. Um, but even if you only catch it here at this this 35, uh, you're, it's six bucks, uh, probably not great. But you can see here, even in the middle of the summer, uh, this this product goes out of stock and then instantly it's for sale for 40 bucks. Let's see if you, if you were holding this product uh, in August, it just randomly went out of stock. Uh, you're, you're getting a 50% ROI. So this has been something I've been having a good amount of fun, uh, kind of experimenting with this business model lately. Uh, I've been stocking up on a lot of this, so I'm excited to see how it goes, but this is something that, um, kind of a more technical strategy that you can take, uh, towards actually selling these products on, um, great markups, uh, because a lot of these are going to have shortages like I've talked about. But as is always the case with Amazon, uh, volume is always the key uh, to succeeding on Amazon. Uh, you should be spending probably more than you've spent all year uh, within the last couple weeks. Um, this should be your, your highest spending period as you gear up for those Christmas sales. Pretty much anything you sell is going to be selling faster. Anything that could go in stockings, um, anything that's a gift, like if you think about it, pretty much anything you sell is could be put um, in one of those categories. Uh, but just make sure you're spending as much money as you possibly can. Uh, it's, it's essential to em empty out that inventory budget uh, because come December next uh, next month, you're going to look at your stock. You're going to realize you're out of stock on everything and you're going to make think, man, I could have spent twice as much. I could have bought twice as many units of this. Uh, so definitely don't underestimate uh, your sales. Trust the data. Look at Keepa like we just did. Um, trust the data. The numbers do not lie. Uh, so if you find yourself um, in an opportunity where you're finding massive dips in December where those products are selling way, way, way faster. So that means it's time to stock up on that product. Uh, just keep in mind that Amazon is a volume game. The more you spend, the more you sell, the more Amazon trusts your account, uh, the more wholesale accounts you can get. There's just nothing that happens bad if you're selling more products on Amazon. But hopefully those tips have kind of helped you guide your uh, Q4 decisions as we move into Christmas. I hope you all crush it with your sales. Um, if you guys are getting started with Amazon or maybe you're a veteran and you want a Amazon community to get plugged into, we do have a free Amazon seller discord down below. There's over 10,000 numbers in there, tons of great free information information that people would normally charge for. Um, if you do have any questions about anything I said and you want to contest anything I said, feel free to drop a comment down below. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.